Yeah, that is super dark, which, I, as you know, I like mm -hmm. dark chocolate. I don't care much for milk chocolate. Mm. This is really dark, but mm, really good coffee. Though. One piece is good enough. Mm -hmm. And I probably wouldn't wow. even mind have drizzled um, a little bit of melted chocolate over here, or you can top it off with chocolate chip and have those chocolate chips kind of melt. Or I would have used the bar chocolate, chop that up a little bit to sprinkle it on top before you bake it. And that might create, you know, this nice mm. little chocolate on top of it. But or powdered sugar. This is rich. Mm-hmm. You know. But do you like it? I do. I do. Well, hi, you guys. I'm Amy, Amy Roloff, and we're in my little kitchen. Favorite place to be, always will. Um, I was thinking about what some of my toughest decisions on when I'm in my kitchen is what apron to wear. And so I chose my daisy one that I had on my site, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen, for a while. And also what to make. Or not only what to make, but do I have all of the ingredients here so that we can kind of maybe flow with this a little bit better. So anyway, I chose my Daisy apron, pretty excited. Like I mentioned before, I probably have in my pantry, I'm gonna say at least 12 aprons, at least. I, you know, some of the holiday ones and everything, could be 12 to 15. Anyway, I love aprons, just had to point that out. I feel like chocolate today. I don't know why, but you know us women, or anybody, we kind of get into this chocolate mode or mood or whatever, and I felt like chocolate. And I had three, oops, let me see here, three, whoa, three very ripe bananas. So I thought, oh, let's make some very chocolate banana bread. I mean, how good does that sound? My other, um, decision that I thought about making this bread. It is very similar to my just simple, simply banana bread recipe out there at, over at Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. But I pared it down a little bit because I wanted it just to fill up one little loaf here. Um, I've got bigger loaves so that when I make my banana bread that's over on my recipe, this is a bigger banana bread pan and this can fit in it. So when I make that recipe, I use this bigger pan, but this is, uh, this is a recipe that's good for any regular, regular size banana pan. And so if you wanna just modify that simple banana bread recipe that I have out there, I think you can just back off on the flour a little bit. Well, almost cut the recipe in half, almost. And then, uh, especially the flour, because you're gonna substitute some of that flour for the cocoa powder. So, let's get going. Let's make some very chocolate banana bread. Okay, let's get going here. So I've got three very ripe bananas. I mean, we're talking ripe. I think for a very ripe banana, it sh the skin should be kind of turning brown. You know, very brown. Where is my little thing? And when I'm talking about my little thing, I'm talking my little, I need a bigger thing, I, I, a bigger thing. Really, Amy? I need a bigger bowl to throw all my trash stuff in there. So I'm just gonna put that over there. And so I'm just gonna peel these and we're just gonna mash it up with a fork so, and a lot of this is gonna be by hand. You can use your mixer if you want, but this goes by so quick that I thought doing it by hand would be good. So look at, see how brown? These are ripe, these are so soft. It just fell off, you know, the little stem part. So you know that they're ready. And if I didn't use these within the next couple days, <coughs> I would have put them in a smoothie. Cause let's recycle some of our, not recycle, but let's turn some of the, some of those ingredients that we think have gone bad, but really haven't 
a smoothie, a banana smoothie. I cannot wait till some of the summer fruit comes out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna mash this. And this is so easy to mash when you've got very ripe bananas. I'm just gonna use a fork. And then I have about five and a half teaspoons of melted unsalted butter. And of course, my brand, Tillamook. I know not all of you guys can get Tillamook where you guys are at, but it's local here, so that's what I use. Tillamook butter, Tillamook flour, stuff like that. Anyway, this is about five and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter. If you go six, I don't think it's gonna kill it. Anyway, I'm gonna mix that in there. And then I have two tablespoons of just regular, I use canola oil, so I'm just Putting that in there. We're just gonna stir that up. And you can use a whisk, and I might do that a little bit later. But sometimes I find using a whisk <coughs> is that, <coughs> is that um, sometimes I find when using a whisk, stuff gets stuck in the whisk. And it doesn't whisk as well. And especially when you're gonna add the egg or some of the other ingredients. So maybe when this is all done, I'll whisk it. So I think that's enough for the butter. So we're gonna add in the egg. I've got one egg room temperature. I like room temperature. Let me get that shell out of here. What in the world? There we go. Sometimes when you use the shell to get a shell out about the egg, it kind of, kind of, it's like a magnet. It kind of goes right in the shell. Well, I should have put it in that bowl. Anyway, let's mix this in a little bit. I think my sleeves are a little long. So one egg, regular, large egg. Then I have about one cup of brown sugar. We're just gonna mix that in there. And you, if you're gonna use brown sugar, make sure it is all broken up. I think I got the handle of the fork greasy. It's slipping on me. So I'm just kind of breaking up the brown sugar because I don't want any lumps. That's one thing that a mixer will do. But the one thing you don't want to use a mixer for quick breads and stuff like that, you don't want to overmix it once you get the flour and stuff in there. So I think I have this all. And like I said, I debated whether to add nuts to this. If you want to add nuts to it, go ahead. I don't think I am, I don't know. I figured if I'm hesitating on it, let's not put nuts in it. Okay, we got all that done. And then, um, got my little coffee, because you know what, we're having chocolate, so you gotta have coffee, right? Look at my little cup. Gather for coffee. I have one cup of flour here. Let me get a spoon or another fork. Instead of just dumping this all separately, I'm gonna mix in one cup of flour, one cup of cocoa powder. And I used a Dutch press process one. You can use regular cocoa powder, that's fine. <coughs> I just like that um, really deep, rich chocolate flavor. So I'm just gonna gently stir this together. I've gotta be careful so that I don't have flour popping up Poof! like magic. You know how uh, magic when they go and, and a bunch of smoke or something pops up? I don't know, that's what it reminds me of. So I've got that mixed in. Um, here we go. 
two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm just gonna mix that in there. And I think this will help incorporate all of this together. Oh, you know what? I better add some vanilla. Look at that, I've got ingredients over there. I've got ingredients here. No wonder I forget some. About a teaspoon. And because this is chocolate, I have a habit of doing espresso powder. And this is just instant espresso powder. I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of that. That'll create more of that richness, deep, dark chocolate flavor with that sweetness of the banana. Then I'm gonna add in a little bit of cinnamon just because I feel like it. Cinnamon, chocolate, why not? And I probably wouldn't do more than quarter teaspoon, well, maybe about a half teaspoon of cinnamon. In fact, maybe I'll do a little bit more because I don't think that was quite a half. So we're just gonna mix that in, mix it all together. There we go. Gonna mix in this vanilla. And then I am going to go get a spatula because I think that'll be a lot easier folding the flour into the wet ingredients. Did I ever show you this cute little spatula? I think they are there. You can find them generally every, well, not everywhere, but a lot of places. I think I got this at Crate and Barrel, but look at that. Isn't that so cute? I love fun accessories in my kitchen and this just makes me want to use a spatula. So we're gonna slowly dump this in. Oops, probably should have mixed that cocoa in there a little bit more. Just gonna slowly kind of fold it in there. Cause then I'm also gonna or, um, add in one cup of chocolate chips. I told you, this was gonna be chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. What did I call it? Deep? No. Dark? Chocolate? Banana bread. Dark chocolate, chocolate chip, banana bread. Now this time I am using chocolate chips. Usually I um, do the um, baking, you know, the little baking chocolate, and I just chop it up and everything. But I decided to just go ahead and use chocolate chips, and these are dark chocolate chips. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. Dark chocolate chocolate chip banana bread. Anyway, one cup. Tell ya, this is gonna be good. I think I'm definitely getting my chocolate fix. And this is gonna be almost done mixing all of this together. There we go. Wasn't well, that so fun, using a fun spatula? I think I have to get more of these. Maybe I should find a way to put some on my site, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. These fancy little spatulas. Now, you can definitely use cooking spray to prep your pan so the bread doesn't stick to the pan. I grew up this way and I have a tendency just to do it by habit, but I just uh, greased my bread pan, dusted it with flour, and just kind of banged it to make sure I get all the flour out of it. And it usually works, you know? It, 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 it usually works for me. So whatever works for you, but I have just found that that works for me, and it has a tendency to just pop right on out. Okay. It's gonna be a little stiff because sometimes cocoa powder has a tendency to dry, dry your bread out. But I still think this is gonna be luscious and good. I mean, I'm just, I'm in the mood for chocolate. 
I cannot wait to taste. Oh, just that hint of cinnamon. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, did I get every little bit out of this bowl? I think so. I'm just going to use this fork, kind of get it off my spatula. I'm just going to press it down so it's kind of like balanced, evened out. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I preheated my oven at 350 degrees. And we are going to bake this for, let's see here. What did I put down on my notes? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. I was going to say 45. Anywhere from 45 to 55, maybe 60 minutes. It really depends on your oven. I have mine on a convection bake, so it may not take as long as 60 minutes. So I would suggest just check it at 45. Most likely it's going to take 50 but just check it. Okay, I'm gonna lightly bang this. I just wanna make sure the bread is settled and I don't have all these big air pockets. So I think I'm gonna be okay not having nuts in this. So I'm gonna put this in the oven, 350 degrees, <coughs> minimum 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And let's see how it tastes when it comes out. So it's chocolate, dark chocolate, chocolate chip banana bread in Amy Roloff's little kitchen. See you in about an hour. Well, 60 minutes have long gone and passed. I will have to say it took um, probably about 45 minutes to bake this at 350 degrees. So depending on your oven will depend on how long you need to cook it. But check it at 45 minutes with a toothpick if the crumbs don't stick to it or it's a little bit moist or whatever, I think that'll be great because cocoa powder does have a tendency to um, create a little bit more drier uh, baked good if it was cookies or something like that. But anyway, I can't wait to taste this. And guess who is going to come and join me? I think I'm going to have Chris taste it with me. Uh, and hopefully he'll like this chocolate. So anyway... Dark chocolate, chocolate chip, banana bread. I think it's fabulous. I think it's delicious. And I definitely was on a chocolate thing today. So anyway, so are you coming, babe? Mm -hmm. Want to bring the stool over? <clears throat> Here, you want, me to, you want me to get us some coffee? Oh, we have two little things right in here. How about you get a C? And where's my A? I have an A in here somewhere. I don't know where it is at the moment. There it is. Oh, okay. Guess what? That way, this way we won't get too confused, will we? Here, let me get some coffee. Because what doesn't go great with chocolate? Get a little bit of coffee? Absolutely. Perfect. All right, let me cut a piece. I cut the end off already, but anyway. Oh, you ate it? <laughs> this is probably a little thicker than I wanted, but anyway. This is dark, because I use um, Dutch processed cocoa powder, mm. and that has a tendency to make it a more of a dark chocolate or a richer mm. chocolate flavor, so. <clears throat> Want to give it a try, babe? I do. <laughs> this is the baked taste tester. Mm. Wow. It's rich, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. And it's so light and fluffy, it kind of melts in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, that is super dark, which, I, as you know, I like mm -hmm. dark chocolate. I don't care much for milk chocolate. Mm. This is really dark, but mm, really good coffee. Dark. One piece is good enough. Mm -hmm. And I probably wouldn't wow. even mind have drizzled um, 
a little bit of melted chocolate over here, or you can top it off with chocolate chip and have those chocolate chips kind of melt. Or I would have used the bar chocolate, chop that up a little bit, just sprinkle it on top before you bake it. And that might create, you know, this nice mm. little chocolate on top of it, but, or powdered sugar. This is rich, mm -hmm. you know, but do you like it? I do, I do. If I, I think if I would have uh, cooked it any longer, it would have been dry. Mm. Because cocoa powder, I think, at least my results, has a tendency to dry it out. Or I would add a little bit more moisture. But anyway, mm. dark chocolate chocolate chip banana bread, I think is a hit. It's a hit. Okay, so you'll be seeing this recipe and video coming your way. So mm. check out this recipe and all of the others over at amyrolloffslittlekitchen.com. And we had a good date night tonight, right? We did. This is dessert. Yes, dessert. <laughs>